earnings season and kicks off with IT major TCS that will be reporting numbers uh, tomorrow after markets close. Uh, what's expected from the sector? Will discretionary spend deal wins continue to be a trigger? Are you going to see a better than expected Q1? Rucha joins in with more on this. Thanks, Tamanna. So as you rightly mentioned, TCS is kicking off the earnings season by reporting its numbers tomorrow after markets. But I'll broadly start with what uh, are the things that we should watch out for during the earnings season. Now, trends in discretionary demands is the major thing that is uh, uh, to be looked up to in the, in the earnings season. Client's budget outlook, which has been under pressure, is also another thing to be watched out for. And the conversion of deal wins into revenue is the last thing. Uh, now, moving on to what the Accenture results indicates. Now, Stability in discretionary demand is, is likely because Accenture has maintained its guidance and also reported the highest uh, managed services bookings. Now, this is what we look at for getting attraction on what will happen for the Indian IT companies. Moving on to expectations from the 1Q numbers, Infosys is expected to lead the growth with 2.4% of constant currency revenue growth, uh, while HCLT is uh, expected to be the laggard by reporting negative, uh, negative number of 1.9% degrowth in the revenue. Now, this is largely because of seasonal headwinds at, at HCL Tech and offshoring of a large deal. Talking about guidance, uh, largely major houses expect uh, Infosys, HCLT and even uh, Infosys and HCLT, pardon me, to maintain their uh, revenue and operating mi uh, margin guidance, except JP Morgan, which expects HCLT to revise upwards uh, its revenue guidance. Uh, else, all in all, uh, on the guidance, uh, maintain is what brokerage houses expect. Uh, moving on to earnings calendar, uh, broadly briefing on TCS set to report tomorrow, day after HCLT uh, set to report on Friday, 12th of July. And next week, we have uh, LTI Mindry on 17th, followed by uh, Infosys and Wipro on 18th and 19th, uh, respectively. Wow. Yep. Well, we'll watch out for that by 19th. We'll have five of the biggies out. So nine days from now, the IT story will be known, whether there are generative AI deals or no. You know, uh, the, the thing every quarter, Neeraj, is that we start with all of this excitement about IT. At the end of it, after the first few days, IT is forgotten. It's, it's just <laughs> forgotten and done because then it becomes all about the banks. And uh, IT hasn't really done much for a while. So can it? Can, sentimentally up or down? I don't know. I don't know. So, Beyond that, are you going to see much or not? But yeah, yeah, it's first off the block. So definitely that's exciting. And post Accenture, I think that the stocks have had a bit of a move. So mm. just trying to... Sudeep, just thought, just thinking out loud, do you expect fireworks from the IT results or commentary? I think as far as Wipro is concerned, I'm expecting uh, some good announcements. Uh, you know, market is speculating about, uh, you know, buying back. Uh, you know, the period is over, that wait period is over and it may come and that will be exciting. Some of the deal wins, of course, Wipro has already announced uh, some and uh, I think that should uh, kind of uh, soothe the market. Uh, as far as Infosys is concerned, I'm expecting a much better quarter and, uh, you know, lots of com uh, positive commentary from the management because the deal wins have been there. Uh, so these are the two companies where I'm uh, positive. Uh, as far as guidance is concerned, there is an expectation that HCL probably will up their guidance and that should be positive again. Uh, TCS, we are not expecting anything great. Let's wait and watch. Up the guidance, that could be interesting uh, from HCL Tech and Wipro, maybe some buyback led announcements. That's rumor on the street. Sudeep is right. Let's see if that happens. Jay Bala, a word on IT and maybe a BTST or an STBT as the case may be. Yeah, um, I have, um, first let me take the position pick and then come to IT. Uh, I'm bullish on uh, Pidlite uh, on a, a BTST as well as a positional call. Uh, for the positional call, the stop loss at about 3020 and I have a price subject of 3500 and uh, you can use the same stock for a BTST. I also have a positional call on KR deal. Uh, you know, it's uh, breaking out of an inverse head and shoulders pattern and the stop loss is 282 and price subject to 380. Also rough rise on the commodity exchange in the US looks like it's bottoming. So that could also provide uh, a tailwind for KRBL if a rough rise starts to uh, pick up uh, in price action. Uh, when it comes to Nifty IT index, I think it has got two potential. Uh, I'm not, it's equally balanced. Um, I think it has potential to scale a fresh all time high slightly above the uh, 2022 high and then top out. 
or you know, in, it could pull back somewhere uh, to about 35,000, sub 35,000, and then go back to uh, you know, fresh all-time highs. Both will be medium-term bearish, but I'm not uh, you know, uh, sticking to frontline names. As I pointed out last week, I like Black Box, which was uh, earlier uh, uh, Avaya Global Communications. I also like Apple, which I pointed out um, a few weeks back. So uh, Apple, if it were to stay above 1510 post this uh, IT result season, it will be a massive breakout. So watch out for 1510, very important level for Apple. If that gets taken out, it's going to uh, be on a, a big up, upward trajectory. Okay, so Apple, Apple is on Jay Bala's uh, radar. 